In this video, I'll show you how to withdraw funds from your NiceHash.com account. So I've earned some Bitcoin, about $400 worth at current rates. It's 0.01 .01 BTC. And if I click on this, I have the option to withdraw up here. So I can click withdraw. And then it says, what do I want to withdraw? I actually have, if you have different, you know, any different um, assets, you can withdraw those. But I'm doing Bitcoin. And I'm going to withdraw to a Bitcoin address that I control, not to another account. I'm not withdrawing um, USD or a, a fiat currency either. So I'm going to want to choose the wallet to withdraw to. I could do a Lightning wallet, but I'm just going to do Main Chain. I'll go Add a New Wallet, and then it asks me for the address, the address that I want to receive. So I'm going to send this to my Bitcoin node that's running on Umbral. So I'm just going to go uh, click Deposit, and that's going to show me an address that I can copy. Uh, in any event, you need to copy, you need to have the address that you want to send to. You could be sending to another person uh, or an exchange like Coinbase or something, but in this case, I'm sending to my own wallet that I control, so I'll paste that here. Sure, I'll just call it um, my umbral. And then check this box here and click verify. And this is going to come up with, I have a two-factor authentication on, so I need to check my phone and just put in that two-factor authentication code then it's also going to send me an email for a verification code. So I'll check my email, highlight it all, and then right click and go copy, and then go back into here, right click and go paste. So these are some security measures, and it's a good thing they do that so that people don't come in and try to withdraw your money without your permission. And then for the amount, I could just type this in manually, but I'm going to click use max. So it uses the maximum amount that I can withdraw. Um, it says the network fee will be 21 cents. It'll take up to 24 hours to process, and I'll go review. And so here's all the information about the transaction. Check this box here and click withdraw. There we go. So it's been submitted. Um, we could check. We can click this view transaction. And this will just bring up and show us the progress of it. And so it's still pending now. We can copy this transaction ID and we could look at it on a blockchain explorer if we wanted to. Um, usually it's pretty quick. Within a matter of minutes it'll be sent. But it could take up to 24 hours. And then once that comes in, I'll see that amount reflected here on balances in my wallet. 